The amount of power you need to run modern AI is absolutely off the charts. You'll need twice as much power, three times as much electricity as we have in this country right now. We could run an AI economy for 500 years just with the natural gas that we have in Ohio and Pennsylvania. The problem is Kamala Harris won't let us get that stuff out of the ground. The other big thing, man, is I believe in merit. Whether you're black, white, I, I don't care where you come from. I don't care who you sleep with. Like I, I, I want the best people for the job. And the way that we lose the AI race is by all of this ridiculous diversity crap that forces companies and forces innovators to not hire the best people. Speaking of technology, um, you being a tech venture yep. capitalist, you understand the importance of AI technology. Sure. Xi Jinping has said the, the, the winner to the AI race will achieve global domination. How are we right going to get that. in that mix? You know, especially with our power grid. I mean, we need more power point. to power Great point. artificial intelligence. The left wants us on this green initiative. They want to. They don't want to go nuts. nuclear. Yeah. I mean, how how are we gonna how are we gonna compete? Well, if the left gets their way, we won't. There's just no way around it. I mean, you know, what I didn't realize until I actually you know looked into this is the amount of power you need to run modern AI is absolutely off the charts, right? I mean, it's, it's, you'll need twice as much power, three times as much electricity as we have in this country right now if you get AI going in, 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 in all the ways that it could. I mean, things like, okay, let's say you take a picture of, um, of your arm and you send it off to an AI company and that AI, that, that the company can tell you with 100% certainty whether you have any skin cancer on your arm, right? Think about how much money that's gonna save. Think about how many lives that's gonna save. But the power you need to run all that computing technology is crazy. It's like, take what you need to run New York City, add AI, and then double or triple what you need to, to, to run New York City just in this one small geographic area. So number one is you've gotta unleash American power. Now the good news is we actually have it, right? Between nuclear, natural gas, and everything else, we have the power that we need. We could run an AI economy for 500 years just with the natural gas that we have in Ohio and Pennsylvania. The problem is Kamala Harris won't let us get that stuff out of the ground. She has decided to prioritize oil and gas in Iran and Venezuela than oil and gas created by American workers that's mined from American territory. It's totally insane. That's number one, is you really gotta unleash American energy, and unfortunately, we've got Kamala Harris who wants to do the exact opposite. The other big thing, man, is, look, I believe in merit. Whether you're black, white, I, I don't care where you come from, I don't care who you sleep with, like, I, I, I want the best people for the job, and the way that we lose the AI race is by all of this ridiculous diversity crap that forces companies and forces innovators to not hire the best people. Like this is my theory, by the way, about what's really changed about Elon Musk. Like, dude, Elon Musk was like a center left Democrat 10 years ago. Like what really changed with Elon Musk? Elon Musk wants to get to Mars and to get to Mars, he needs the smartest engineers in the world. He wants to hire who he wants to hire, not who a government diversity bureaucrat tells him who to hire. I think that's the big reason why Elon Musk has, has become more conservative is he just wants to hire the best people for the job. He doesn't want bureaucrats telling him who he has to hire. That's the second thing is we've got to end this ridiculous diversity, equity, inclusion garbage. Best person for the job, good old fashioned American merit. That's how you win the race to AI. That's how you get to Mars. Final point I make is, you know, think about like, you know, AI, you need software and you need hardware, okay? What is the hardware? It's computer chips. Mm -hmm. And this is where China has really, really invested and America's got to do a better job. It's too hard to create computer chips in this country. You need power, you need water, you need minerals, you need rare earth materials, you need a whole host of things. But if China dominates the computer chips, they're going to dominate AI because you can't do AI without the next gen computer chips. So we've got to invest in creating that infrastructure to do the next generation of computer chips. And let me give you just one example how insane this stuff is. So there was a big bill that came out of Congress a couple of years ago, and, and the whole point of it was to promote the American computer chip industry to manufacture more computer chips in America. Something that I think is a good idea, agree or disagree, we gotta make more computer chips. How could it now, be a bad idea? I mean, look, I don't think, I think most people agree with this, probably 90% of Americans agree with us on this, okay? So here's the problem though. The way that that program has been implemented 
is Gina Raimondo, who's Kamala Harris's Commerce Secretary. She's trying to make Intel and Taiwan Semiconductor and all these companies that are manufacturing in the United States of America check all of these ridiculous progressive politics boxes before they can manufacture. Like for example, do you have the right diversity policies? Do you have the right human resources policies? Are you targeting your recruitment to have the right racial mix depending on the communities that you're operating in? And these companies are like, we just wanna hire the best people for the job. Like, does anybody really think that Intel is gonna discriminate against people based on their skin color? It's ridiculous. Let them hire the best people for the job, but it goes to show how progressive politics destroys the actual infrastructure that we need to build this stuff out. No matter where you're watching Sean Ryan show from, if you get anything out of this, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, share this everywhere you possibly can. And if you're feeling extra generous, please leave us a review on Apple and Spotify podcasts.